Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna go over my results for my 23andMe to find out where my mom and my dad, their family history, it's really exciting. I was kind of shook to find out more about where my heritage was from. And I'm just excited. I mean, I kind of looked over the results already, but I wanted to share. So we'll start with what I am. And I'll probably have it come up on the screen on this side right here. But, so I'm 68% European. And what that entails is I am Spanish and Portuguese, 13.2%. And British and Irish, which is 8.9%. And French and German, it, which is 7.6%. And then Italian, I'm 6.5%. Scandinavian, 0.8%. And Akhenaten Jewish, sorry, I cannot pronounce that word, um, 0.2%, and broadly Southern European, which includes um, Italian, Balkan, and then islands of the um, Mediterranean, which is like, you know, I think like Spain, um, Italy, all those islands that are kind of together. And also, um, Broadly, Northwestern European, which is more or less like Ireland, North as Norway, Finland, France, the Baltic Sea, and then broadly European, which means pretty much like everywhere in Europe. I was 7.2%. And then um, I was also 21.7%. Asian and Native American and so 19.6% um, was from Mexico like New Mexico and northern Mexico that area and then um, broadly northern Asian and Native American 1.3% and 0.4% and um, Chinese and southeastern Asian which is like China and um, it's just really, they couldn't pinpoint it. So it's just like kind of in, in that area. And that was actually 0.4%. And then um, it also says 0.5% broadly East Asian and Native American, which means, I guess, a mixture of like Asia and then America. And then I was really, really shook to find this out. This was kind of cool. That Western Asian and North African which is like countries, you know, like in the Middle East. I was like really shocked to find that out. So in that area, I was 4.4%. And um, Western Asia, 2.6%. And most of it um, that they show are like countries like Iran. And then also other countries are, I think it was like Dubai, I can see on here. And then um, Northern Africa, which is um, most, I guess it says on here, most of the earliest immigrants out of Africa kind of spread towards the Middle East, which is cool. And then also Saharan African 2.6%. That's really neat. So it shows Guinea, Nigeria, South Africa, and then Brawley, West Africa, and Coltonese and Southern East African and Sub-Saharan Africa. And those are, the highest one was the Gini, that was 0.9%, which is really, really cool. But I was like really, really excited to find this out because I definitely in the future want to travel and kind of explore, you know, different cultures. And it's just really neat. And what I like about 23andMe too is you can connect with your relatives from around the world. And so it gives you a list of everybody that you're kind of kind of related to, and it gives you like a broad map. And it was just really neat, kind of like looking at that and just like you can also message um, some of your relatives if you wanted to to connect with them to kind of. I definitely want to do that. I just haven't had the time to. But um, I'm just like I was like really shook, and you know, I definitely want my parents to kind of take this test and see what their results are, you know what I mean? Like, I'd be really excited to see that. But I was just really shook. I mean, look at this map. It's like super colorful. 
I mean, it's just really amazing. I love it. And I've just been obsessed with this, you know, just kind of looking this over. I think it's really interesting that you can find out where your family history is and just like, I love it. I love it. But yeah, let me know in the comments, have you guys took your 23andMe? What were your results? Were you kind of shit like me to find out like about your background? Um, leave your comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.